a method for throttle body sync. This is the throttle body assembly of K75. The number two throttle body is operated by the throttle cable. This is number one, two, number three. The trick is we need to have equal openings for equal airflow. Of course, assuming that all the other things that will affect the airflow are equal. But as this throttle body set, we are going to sync this set only. Uh, what I first have done is close the idle screw completely so the throttles will set to its end. And the idle screw isn't doing anything, it isn't touching anything. And after cleaning, bottom out all the air screws. So when these are closed and this is completely anti-clockwise turned, then the only thing that is closing is that the throttle is actually touching the body. And then I simply put in water with a little drop of dishwasher detergent. Really not much because you don't want to have foam. And just follow how the water is lowering. According to fluid dynamics, air or water, they are both fluids. It doesn't matter, we want to have the same opening and especially since we added a little bit of dishwasher detergent, there isn't that much adhesive in the water, so the difference is really small. And as you can see, this is really good to follow and you can see any differences quite easy. What happens actually is that I can see flow differences that are smaller than a sixteenth of a turn of the adjustment screws. Now this is after I did all the work, this is just a demonstration, I'm not doing it at the moment, but as you can see now, the number one and two, they are very close to each other. Um, since the throttle is operating directly on the number two, the number three and the number one are slaves. The adjustment screws here and here, they are actually operating in opposite directions. So if you want to close the number three, you'll have to turn the adjustment screw clockwise. If you want to close the number one, you have to turn anti-clockwise. And this I've done first with all the throttles closed until I was happy with that and the differences are really within a millimeter or so and sometimes even adjusting the screw doesn't change anything. Uh, so there's some hysteresis so always move it for a while and close it again. When that's done, take any of the air screws about one turn out and adjust the others for, again, equal water flow. Put the idle screw again a little bit in so it actually stops on the idle screw and not on the throttle itself. And when that's done, you adjust the position of the potentiometer and idle switch so that you will hear a clear click just when lifting up from idle. So. That's the whole thing, there's no more to it, but since the water will flow very slowly, it takes about half an hour to do this really nicely.